Minister of Education in the British Virgin Islands, Natalia Whitley, made this suggestion this morning during the opening of consultation sessions at the Arthur Chong Conference Center. We cannot expect students who have not properly learned to properly teach. So it is imperative to set a high threshold for those seeking to enter the profession, as is the case with law and medicine. If one would not want a C student operating on their body, one should not tolerate a C student operating on the young minds of the nation. The BVI minister emphasized that teachers must also be equipped with special skills. Teachers must be equipped to teach students who are not only visual learners, but who learn through doing, who are tactile and auditory. Teachers must learn to use technology to enhance the learning experience. Teachers must be trained in identifying students who have learning disabilities and recommend them for support services as necessary. Teachers must strengthen classroom management skills in a complex social milieu. Teachers must, must teach skills. They must teach students to learn how to learn. Representing Guyana on this front was Chief Education Officer Marcel Hudson, who underscored the importance of setting these higher standards. Standards for teachers or teacher educators are paramount. Why? Teacher educators are strategically positioned to serve as catalysts for the required change in the education delivery and outcomes. As a consequence, they must be able to model the teaching that demonstrates content, professional knowledge, skills, and dispositions, reflecting research, proficiency with technology and assessment, and accepted best practices. Meanwhile, the Assistant Secretary General of CARICOM, Douglas Slater, explained that during the two-day sessions, stakeholders will work to come up with more recommendations. At the 34th meeting of the Council of Human and Social Development, 2018, the Technical Working Group for Teachers' Innovation and Education Leadership submitted draft standards for teachers, educational leaders, and teacher educators. The course had mandated the member states to convene consultation with relevant stakeholders and provide feedback to the CARICOM Secretariat. The feedback gained from member states significantly influenced the revision of the draft standards that is being presented here today. The draft standards have been revised with a view for deliberately designing educational quality and a recognition that the teaching profession is formed within the context of social practices. The event is being undertaken as part of a series of consultation workshops being done in five regions internationally to acquire input from key education stakeholders including teachers, teacher organizations, education planners, teaching regulatory councils, teacher educators and researchers. Participants will be asked to review and comment on a guidance framework and suggest ways in which it can be refined, as well as recommend approaches for local adaptations. Davina Ramdas, The Evening News.